Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about setting up CloudRon. Now, what is CloudRon? It's a great question. CloudRon is a turnkey solution for deploying some of your favorite self-hosted apps, including GitLab or OpenVPN, or even something like Rocket Chat. Linode's Cloud Manager makes it very simple to deploy something like CloudRon using our one-click app solution. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing that you'll want to do is log into the Linode Cloud Dashboard. If you don't have an account already, you can get some free credit by following the link in the description. Now, over here on the left, we're gonna click on Marketplace, and then we're going to choose CloudRon, which is right here, and we'll scroll down. We're going to choose an image. Uh, let's go with Ubuntu 20.04. Then we choose the region, uh, and that's going to be Newark, New Jersey for me, because I'm in the Northeast United States. The minimum required specifications for CloudRon is one gigabyte of RAM and about five gigabytes of disk space, but I'm gonna go with the two gigabyte Linode because that's going to provide us with ample headroom for deploying apps that we wanna use through uh, CloudRon. So let's go ahead and select that. Let's scroll down here and select a name, and we'll just call it CloudRon, why not? And we'll provide a root password. Now, if you have public SSH keys that you wanna add, you can go ahead and do that. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Then you can go ahead over here and hit click create. And we'll wait a few minutes for the provisioning process to finish. Usually it takes between five and 10 minutes, uh, depending on the app that's being set up. Let's go ahead and launch the Lish console now that we have a running uh, device. And we can see that it's actually running through the boot up process still. Now don't be intimidated by this. Uh, we're not gonna have to deal with uh, much of the console here. And you can see, actually, we've been prompted for the login uh, up here. So we can actually type in root, and we can type in our password that we just specified, and we are logged in. So now we can, uh, so it says CloudRon is installing run tail f uh, var log CloudRon setup log to view the progress. So let's do that. Let's just run tail f var log cloud ron dash setup dot log. And once you've run that uh, command, um, you can actually hit control C to cancel out of, uh, or like abort the process. And you can see that we are cur currently setting up the cloud run environment. Now you don't have to do this. You don't have to like uh, sit here and watch it. Um, you can like observe like the disk IO blocks uh, or you can open up the IP address of your Linode uh, and see if a web interface actually pops up. Not yet. All right, let's try and actually go to uh, the IP address of our Linode. And it says that there's a potential security risk. Generally, it's a bad idea to ignore these, but because we're sure that this IP address belongs to the Linode we just set up, we're gonna go ahead and accept the risk and continue. So you can click advanced. Uh, it might look a little different if you're using a Chromium-based browser, uh, but just go ahead and ignore the, uh, the risk. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do here is actually put in our domain name. And this is gonna be linodians.net. Now, the next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is set up our uh, domain name configuration. So uh, I actually have linodians.net set up on my Linode account, so I'm gonna choose Linode. If you don't have it set up through there, um, you're gonna to have to figure out uh, how to do it. If your domain registrar is GoDaddy or Namecheap or any of these, uh, you'll have to read the documentation on how to uh, get things set up with them. Um, but this is a Linode tutorial, so we're gonna go ahead and use an API token that we generate in the Linode Cloud Dashboard. So let's go back here. We're gonna go to our account. We're gonna go to API tokens, and we're gonna create a personal token. And the only thing that we're gonna need to give is read and write permissions for domains. And we're gonna say, this is going to be for CloudRon. And we're going to go ahead and create that token. We're gonna to select this and copy it to our clipboard. Uh, once you click okay, you will not be able to recover this uh, token again. Um, so before we click okay, let's go back here and just paste it right into our API token. Uh, and then we're gonna hit next. 
So from here, CloudRun is gonna handle uh, configuring all of our domains and everything like that. So uh, this is actually pretty handy. All right, so we're getting our certificates here. This process will take a few minutes. All right, so now we have got CloudRun set up. So let's go ahead and finish uh, the creation of our uh, admin account here. So we'll type in my name. We'll set up uh, our email address. We will add our username and we will set up a password and then we'll hit create admin. Now, CloudRun is ready to use. CloudRun has a central user directory. When installing an app, you can set it up to authenticate against this directory. That's really, really handy. Uh, email configuration. Uh, apps are configured to send email based on the settings in the email view. This saves you the trouble of having to configure mail settings inside each app. Again, that's one of the benefits of using CloudRun. Uh, backups allow you to store your backups on uh, storage services completely independent from your server, which again is amazing. <laughs> uh, and then uh, you can also do updates. Uh, the CloudRun team tracks upstream releases and publishes app updates after testing. This is yet another reason CloudRun is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and proceed to the dashboard. Uh, we don't have any apps installed yet. So what we're gonna do is actually set up uh, an app called File Pizza. So we've created a cloudrun.io uh, account. So here we have File Pizza, which is a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing service. Uh, and you can see that there are um, a couple other options here. Uh, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, uh, we have Minecraft Server, we have Round Cube. We get a bunch of options here. Let's go ahead and do File Pizza though. Uh, so file pizza enables fast and private peer-to-peer -peer file sharing in your web browser uh, and uses WebRTC in order to do this. So let's just install and you want to uh, specify your subdomain here. Uh, you can leave it blank if you want to have uh, the bare domain be where this app is located. Uh, let's do pizza. Oops, pizza dotlinodians.net. Uh, and you do have a few options here. You can uh, choose the, you can leave the user management up to the app. Uh, you can allow all users from this CloudRun instance to have uh, user accounts in File Pizza, or you can allow only the following users uh, and you can go ahead and select them. However, we'll just use the default option of allow all users from this CloudRun. And we're gonna hit install. And it will take a few moments to get the app installed. So we'll come back as soon as it's done. All right, and now File Pizza is running. So let's go ahead and click on that. And it'll take us right to um, the uh, pizza.linodians.net site. And we can type in our username. So let's do that. So, and this is gonna be the username and password that we specified for the uh, CloudRun Instances admin account. And I don't have a two-factor authentication token enabled. So let's go ahead and just sign in. And now we have peer-to-peer uh, -peer file sharing. So let's select a file here and we're just gonna pick something like uh, the heavy element logo. So I'm gonna open up my phone here and I'm just gonna scan that QR code and we're gonna open that link. It's asking me to log in, so let's do that real fast. And we're gonna sign in. There's the download button, so let's go ahead and hit that download button. And it says delivered, there we go. And there you can see we actually got the file sent to us through uh, File Pizza. That's pretty awesome. Now this isn't gonna replace like a traditional thing like Nextcloud or, or, or Google Drive, but this is a decentralized way of sharing files peer to peer across the web. Um, and I think it's actually really cool. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Do you think File Pizza is an interesting app? Let me know down in the comments. Stay tuned for my next video where we're actually going to use CloudRun to install Git-T and uh, ditch GitHub for good. But that's gonna do it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Uh, if you don't mind, maybe hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content, or you can hit that uh, like button if you're already subscribed. That's gonna do it for now, though. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.